Hi, you are watching Arduino Sound Effects Web UI. My name is Kashif Baig, and I will be demonstrating a project that has been developed using a new MVC framework and which promotes a professional software design. This is the fifth of six projects, an increasing order of complexity. Visit my website to download the source code and framework libraries. And whilst you are there, you can find out about my ebook, Arduino Web Development Pushing the Limits. It lays the foundations of a professional approach to web development using the Arduino platform. It has lots of coding examples and exercises to get you upskilled quickly. And so back to the presentation. You can build the source code using the latest Arduino IDE. I recommend using the freely available Visual Studio code if you want to take advantage of Arduino server pages. Watch until the end of the presentation to find out more. To build the sound effects web UI project, you will need a network enabled Arduino or compatible. You'll also need an Uno R3 fitted with a VS1053 MP3 shield with an SD card containing sound files. When in operation, the two boards will need to be connected to each other using their serial pins, but you'll need to keep the serial pins disconnected when uploading the source code. For this presentation, I'll be using a Wemos D1 Mini, which is an ESP8266 based board. This board is not intended to be 5 volt tolerant, so you would need to adapt accordingly. This project is an example of a distributed design. The D1 Mini hosts the web server and UI, and the Uno plays the sound files on the SD card. The boards communicate using a protocol that is similar to serialization found in frameworks like .NET. You will need to copy your own MP3 files to a folder named Sounds on the Shields SD card, and you will need to adapt the web UI with the file names and descriptions accordingly. Once everything is built and deployed, connecting a web client will show buttons with the sound descriptions. Pressing an on-screen button will play the sound from the MP3 shield. The web UI class diagram shows the class relationships. Player request makes requests to the MP3 player shield on the Uno and does so over serial connection. Name value iterator provides the mechanism for iterating a collection of file names and descriptions. Panel model is used by panel view for rendering screen buttons and issuing play requests. The layout view classes implement a master web page that has navigation links and the controller filters the HTTP request and serves an appropriate view. In the sound player class diagram, request receives requests from the web server Arduino and plays requested MP3 files. The deserializable message factory has the responsibility for instantiating the correct incoming message over serial connection. Be sure to download the code and adapt as required. Distributed application design and serial communication are covered extensively in my book, Arduino Web Development, Pushing the Limits. A major advantage of using Visual Studio Code is that dynamic HTML and JSON contents can be authored using Arduino server pages or ASPs. ASPs feature server-side scripting tags that professional web developers will be familiar with. To be able to use ASPs, follow the guidance on my website to configure your computing environment. New web projects can be created from the command line and opened in Visual Studio Code. If I now deploy to an Uno with Ethernet capability, we see starter web pages and a responsive navigation menu. If I paste some code into one of the ASPs and redeploy, when I refresh the browser, we can see the updated web page. And that is how straightforward it gets when you integrate the view builder with Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions about this project, please leave a comment at my website and remember to visit for updates and new tech projects. 
If you're watching on social media and found this presentation useful, please like and share. Thank you for watching.